Hi everybody, welcome to the channel again. We're here in Winchester. There's a test centre on our right hand side. Just going to do another test route for you. Right, at the end of the road here, we're going to turn left. Going to go mirror, left door mirror and signal left. If you've watched some of the other videos, you'll know a little bit about Winchester. So, very historic town, very old. Um, so lots of variety of roads, some quite narrow roads are near the test centre, near the university. Um, some fast sections, so it'll take you on the A34 places sometimes. We're going to go left here, so we're going to go mirror, left or mirror, and signal left. And then we're going to do a left turn here, so you can go mirror, left door, signal left. And then at the end of the road we're going to turn right, so we're going to go mirror, right door mirror, signal right. And at the end of this road, we're going to turn right, so we're going to go mirror, right door mirror and signal right. And at the end here we're turning right, so we're going centre mirror, right door mirror, signal right. Quite a fast bit of road to enter, a lot of traffic. Whenever you're entering a new road, just make sure you're checking the speed limits and making sure that you're not just following the cars in front of you. Remember, they could well be speeding. We're turning left here, so mirror, left on the signal. And at the end of the road here, we're going to be turning right. So we're going centre mirror, right door mirror and signal right. Just coming up to the end of the road. Not great visibility when you get there, so just take your time. And then we're taking the next road on the left. So centre mirror, left door mirror, signal left. Very bright day, so. A lot of reflection off the sun. We've got a priority area here that we're just going to drive through. When you come around this corner, it goes into a priority section. So you're looking ahead. But it also goes to national speed limit. Now, trust me, you will not be doing 60 miles an hour on this little section of road. Um, but just take your time, yeah? Because you've got priority section after priority section here. This is our priority, so I can see down the road, nothing's coming, it's safe for us to enter. Slightly narrow bridge here. A 
narrow section here, but it's our priority. Nothing's coming up anyway, but just be aware and be cautious about the situation. So remember, you're in that national speed limit zone. You can pick your speed up a bit here. Still don't want to be super fast. As we come up here, we're going to be taking the second exit right on this roundabout. So we can see so there's other routes. So we're going to be coming into the right hand lane as you come onto the roundabout, past this first exit here, and then you can check your left door mirror and signal left. Now, as we come through here, we're going to the next roundabout, we're going to be taking the second exit right on it. Um, done this in one of my other videos so it's very you would suggest you want to be in the right hand lane here but actually the left hand lane is going to split into two lanes and you want to be in the middle lane but your positioning is really important here because you've got a lane to your left and a lane to your right as you're coming onto this roundabout and yet you want to be coming in not cutting into the side on the left but then coming across to the left as you come into the roundabout so checking your mirrors throughout that as you go, signaling left to come off the roundabout. Worth practicing, definitely worth practicing at busy times so you get a good position there. At the next roundabout we'll be just going to take the first exit left. So it's quite a fast section of road. motorway comes very, the M3 motorway comes very close to the city centre so this road kind of like feeds you around the outside of the M3. We're going to be going left here, first exit, so we're checking our centre mirror, left door mirror signaling left. Staying to the left side as we come through. Now we're out here, we're on a Sunday morning, um, very little traffic about, but when you go out and practice, it's always good to practice a similar time to when your driving test will be, yeah, so you can get used to the, the level of traffic that you're going to be doing your test in. Just coming up to quite a major roundabout here. Um, we're going to be taking the second exit ahead to Winnell Trading Estate. Yeah. Now what we're going to do as we approach this is we're going to stay in the left-hand side. Yeah. And we're going to be looking for our little filter sort of sections. Yeah. So as we come around here. In the left hand lane here, we're going straight across to the left hand lane. We're not taking the first exit, that's onto the motorway. Left hand lane there. Alright. You see we've got road markings for Winnell here. And then we're just going to come through. Alright, staying in the left hand lane because we're going to be taking the second exit ahead on this roundabout. Past the first exit, check your left door mirror, signal left. And you've got a 30 mile an hour speed limit through here, um, but lots going on. Lots of entrances, a lot of retail, industrial units. Fire station is just there, so be wary of that. Big yellow box in front of it.
watching your speed as you come down the hill. Very easy to, to get fast on you. Checking those zebra crossings, make sure nobody's on them. And then as you come through here, you can see ahead we've got a 20 mile an hour zone. We're just getting back to the city centre. So it's going to be 20 miles an hour through the city. So checking your centre mirror and slowing down, making sure you're at 20 when you get to the signs. Now this brings us out into the city centre, quite a lot of one way through Winchester. So, now, as we come through here, I can see it's safe for us to go. We come out, we're going to need to move over to the right hand lane, so we're going to go mirror, right door mirror, signal right. Just check my blind spot as well, make sure nothing's there. Come around this corner, we can come around in the right hand side, but I want to be getting back to the left as soon as possible, so I'm going to check my centre mirror, left door mirror, move over when it's safe. Keeping that speed nice and slow. The left is best, yeah, yeah, unless you know where you're going to go. Now I know that I'm going to go right in a minute, so I'm just going to check my centre mirror, right door mirror, and I'm going to signal right. I'm just going to move over to the right hand side because in a moment it's going to ask me to bear to the, to the right. to see where I'm going to go. I'm looking what the street's doing. It's just one lane for the moment. I'm going to be bearing left in a moment. So, let's come out of there. Road's widening. I know I'm going to go left, so I'm staying to the left-hand side. There are only bus stops, so no buses there, stick to the left, yeah. Here we're turning, bearing round to the left. Now, I'm just going to be going ahead. I'm going to stay in the left hand lane. Maintaining that 20 miles an hour very slowly there because it's a very narrow tunnel, so I was just taking my time. And then we go back to 30 miles an hour, and we've got a little roundabout coming up. We're going to be taking the uh, second ahead on this roundabout. This second exit right because it's a staggered sort of situation. And then we're turning left straight out that other side of this. 
That's definitely worth a practice, isn't it? Yeah. Now I could see some reflection on the cars as I came up there, so I knew something was coming. I couldn't see it properly, but I just saw some reflection moving on the cars. So, good technique, keep your eyes peeled on everything. We're going to turn left at the end of the road here, so we're going to go mirror left or mirror signal left. What a blind little corner. This is the first time for me driving around this section of road here, so this is quite interesting. We've got a stop sign here, so we're going to just come up, we're going to get back to our left hand side, yeah, going ahead and we're just going to stop at the white line where we can see, all right. I'm going to use my handbrake to, for two reasons, a bit of a hill and I also want to show the examiner that I am stopping. Definitely worth practicing that. that. That was a tricky little view up the hill, it's difficult to see, so didn't really pick it up on the camera so much, but definitely worth the practice there. Now you can see on this road, we've got parked cars on either side and they're really jam packed at this time of the day. Um, so just looking ahead as far as you can see to know whether it's going to be convenient for you to drive forward. I've got a cyclist there, he's just coming through. I'm just going to stop and let him come. Yeah. All right. There you go. All we don't want to have is a situation where <clears throat> you know, you're causing the cyclist some distress you know, by being a bit close to him. So if you think in any way that it's too narrow for you and them, just pause them and treat them like they were a car. You know, if that was a car coming towards me, there's no way I would have gone into that situation. So I just like treat them like they're a car, give them as much space and respect as a car. And in fairness, think of the fact that they're, we're in a, a metal protective shell and they're not, so they're the vulnerable ones, so we need to give them the most respect. Now at the end of the road here we're going to turn left, we're going to go mirror, left door mirror, we're going to signal left, a little speed bump as you get to the end of that bit of road. And then we're going to turn left at the end of this section of road, get a little speed bump. Signaling, checking our mirrors, signaling left. Right near the university here, so some uh, nice looking buildings by the hospital and the prison. Hopefully you won't end up there. As we come down here, we're going to be turning right, so checking our centre mirror, right door mirror, we're going to signal right. very slowly around that corner. Now I know there's a few road closures down here, so we're just going to follow um, possibly the diversion signs. Um, 
priority here, so just looking down the road. Making sure we're only doing 20 miles an hour in this section. We're going to take this next road on the right. Sometimes they might take your head, but I know there's a road closure down there, so we're just going to skip that bit today. Oncoming traffic, so I'm just going to move nice and carefully into that big space we've got there. And they could well ask you to pull it. Well, they're going to ask you to pull over four times to the left, so I'm just going to pull over on the left just here. So I'm checking my centre mirror, left door mirror, I'm just going to pull up here. All right, so like I said, they were going to ask you to pull over on the left four times. Um, just check your mirror, signal left, pull over nice and slowly. Don't get too close to the curb, leave about a tyre's width away so you're not going to rub the curb. All right, and then when they ask you to drive on safely, checking all the way around the car, over your right shoulder, checking your mirrors, put your right indicator on and then just drive off when it's safe to do so. coming around that corner so we're just going to take our time when we come around this corner and we're turning right here so we're going to go mirror right door mirror signal right and that's it folks we're right back in Christchurch Road near the test centre so Thanks for watching this, hope it's been useful. Um, do get out and practice, it does make a big difference. The test centre's just here on the right hand side by those white railings. All right, have a great day, thanks for watching and look out for another test route soon.